as around August 2021, you're looking at at least a $300 price tag for very, very basic or uh, not very special axes. So bear that in mind. How did I actually go about buying my first axes? After looking at all the different YouTube videos, I decided to just go with Elijah CTG suggestion on getting one plant uh, axi uh, coupled with two aqua axes. Um, apparently this is a quite a popular build in the axi game at the moment. So um, that's what I decided to go with. The different channels that I've actually looked this up on um, just show you sort of the website, um, the axi website going, you know, how you should go about shopping for them. But what I'm gonna show you here is a little bit more granular. I've actually made a spreadsheet here to help myself shop. So after having gone through about 13 axes, I had lost my patience and I decided it's time to buy. Axie number 3112372. And I bought this plant axie, 2139816, and another aqua axie at 2193382. Altogether, I spent 0.9304 Ethereum on all three axes. So here is a table of how I've gone about tracking um, how much I spent on my first team for Axie Infinity. I moved about 0.51 uh, ETH from my CoinHako account, and then I moved 0.445 from my Bitru account. There are withdrawal fees for ETH, and um, yeah, I realized for the first time withdrawal fees are quite steep. The gross cost of 0.9595 is um, how much altogether before exchange withdrawal fees. The amounts here in the right column are the US dollar amounts based off the spot price $2,785 per Ethereum. What actually I ended up doing is I adjusted the cost because I did actually buy some Ethereum um, earlier in this year from uh, May up to July. So I did manage to buy a little bit during the dip. And instead of costing it at the spot price of 2785, my average cost of the, um, my average cost price over the last couple of weeks is actually $2,459.80. So effectively that makes my cost price for the three axes I bought cheaper than what it would be if I had bought them at today's prices. Yes, it does mean I actually forfeit a bit of profits, but because axes are actually resellable on the market, it means I'm actually not going to lose much, I think, if I choose not to uh, use these axes anymore or if I decide I don't want to play this game anymore. So I felt that this was a cost-effective approach of trying out this game. So my cost adjusted um, price for my axes actually um, works out to be uh, 2,288.6 for my entire team. Um, that is 0.9304 ETH. I've also accounted for um, what I call slippage, which is how much I've lost in terms of fees, um, what amount I've left in my MetaMask wallet, and the difference between my gross balance that I had back at the exchange and the amount that I actually was able to withdraw um, and actually then spent on buying the Axie. Altogether, that worked out to be about $24. Just to count for this, I mean, it's not that much, but I imagine as the price of Ethereum goes up or if the cost in terms of ETH for Axies goes up, then I think the slippage is something that is not negligible entirely. So. I would want to know this. This is a very draft uh, version of a spreadsheet I just crafted up, just showing you my numbers for my first team of axes. Another thing that I felt was quite overwhelming, there was a lot of information um, to take in at one time. So I've got a lot of the information that I felt was useful and put it in uh, this one spreadsheet I call My Axi Guide. And here is one on base stats. The different class types of axes have advantages over other class types. Here is the information that I got from uh, Google Doc um, that is on, that I found from the Substack website. And I simply just pasted it into my guide. The other one here is the debuff uh, information, 
while you're playing um, in real time, uh, you, I often would see these kind of symbols that come up um, that sort of hang over my axes while they're um, while they're battling out the opponent. And there's quite a lot of them, so I wanted to know in real time what they were about. So I just keep this on a spreadsheet and put this on my second monitor while I play, so I know exactly you know what's happening during the gameplay. Again, I'm totally noob at this, so you know this might be stuff that is quite you know intuitive to you or you already know. Um, there might be already assumed knowledge, but for those of you who are really new to this game or like you know just started out like me, um, this might be useful for you. Just a little tip. So I had a lot of fun playing Axie Infinity this week. I learned a lot um, moving my cryptocurrencies around, buying NFT games, uh, buying Axies, uh, learning how to play, understanding the mechanics, seeing what's ahead on the horizon for this game. I don't think it's too late. I mean, I'm very new, but I'm not very I'm not new to games altogether. But it looks like there's a lot um, to be uh, expected and a lot of room for growth in this um in, in in axie infinity in the next week i'm hoping to learn more about this game and as i learn more i'll share it with you so subscribe and like and see you in the next one